Garble Goose there, Shibaba. Okay. Let's make this bigger. Yeah. That's good, I think. See, it automatically adds more fence, more wall. And make it a little bigger this way. Write me out on Cat vs. Sims. Hello, humans! It's me, Loki. I am back with another episode of Cat vs. Sims. Uh, this is a show where I try to learn about human behavior by playing a human simulator, uh, uh, Sims 4, and I have created a uh, an alter ego of of moi, and uh, that is we're kind of calling him Sim Loki unless somebody comes up with a better explanation or a better name. Uh, today is going to be mostly a building show. Uh, because we have an urn in our inventory, or a gravestone, hard to tell, of uh, Mrs. Nancy Landgrab. <coughs> I guess her family was not interested in putting her to rest. So we are going to try to build a place where we can, uh, we can uh, put her to rest, like I said. Uh, so uh, let's build a cemetery or a park. Or something. Let's build a park with a cemetery. Uh, I'm gonna go to yeah, that's where I want to go. A uh, new crest has been cleared out for us. I'm not gonna go to more infinite happiness. I think probably you know. Nah. Tranquil Crescent sounds like a good spot to spend eternity. You know, I would have put it in a lot with some other houses, but sometimes people don't want to live near cemeteries. So we're going to go to the outdoor rooms because they're not going to cost us anything because this is a public, public spot. I saw something here the other day. Oh, where'd it go? It came from the Vampire's Pack. There it is. Immortal Resting Grounds. So we already have kind of a little cemetery to start with. And we will... Uh... See, it doesn't cost us anything. There's actually a little infinity mark down uh, below me where the money would normally be. So uh, I'm going to stick it in a corner. Or, yeah, right there. I don't want the wall. Let's put the wall at the corner. There we are. I don't think that's big enough. So let's see if we can turn this into a room. I mean, it, it is a room, but uh, you have to click in the right spot. To turn it into a oh, there's a fountain. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know they had wa wall fountains. Nice. Uh, we need more space, and I think more grass. So let's see. Nope. Ah, get back there. Oh, scat. Let's just stick it there. Okay, uh, undo. There. Okay. Need to find a way to click on the room without clicking on the other stuff. See, there's vines. I keep clicking on the vines. The gate. Oh. This thing is picky. Usually you click on the wall, but... Uh... Vine again. There we are. Okay. Ah! Ah! Okay. Try again. There. Okay. Let's make this bigger. Yep. That's good, I think. See, it automatically adds more fence, more wall. And let's make it a little bigger this way. Nice. More more paving tiles. I'm not sure I'm going to keep those. I think I would like something more natural. Uh, 
I'm making a sort of a sacred ground area. Uh, let's see. I like these. Emerald Forever. Scratchy and patches. Uh, yeah, let's try this. Oh, not doing. Oh, you know what? Because we're trying to grow grass on a floor. See what happens? Okay. Even if you try to do squares. So. Let's, there we go. Remove floor. It's just going to remove the whole, yep, oh, remove the whole thing. Uh, did I want to do that? Let me think. Okay, so that took out the whole floor. You know what? I didn't really like the papers anyway, as I said, so let's let's make it more natural. Okay, so this is the grass we're using. Just gonna paint it on so it's not too uh We, we, I want to make it look kind of organic. Let's see, probably should have picked a circle, but yeah. Okay. I want to make it look kind of like real grass. Mm, yeah, a little of this, here and there. I don't know why I did that. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, what next? I think we need a uh, group. And that's a nice little area. I like that. I, I, maybe we can make some mounds. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we don't need any water here. But there's no more wall fountains. Okay. Uh, and not no light. Okay. Um, let me think. What else could I use? I think we'll just use the terrain tool. Maybe I would like to make some mounts. I haven't done this very much. I did a little on my test. I had a testing. Test account. Is this really working? I can't tell if this is working. Uh, it is awfully yellow. I know really likes maybe. Whoa! I just made some kind of sinkhole. Okay. That worked fast. Smaller with soft edges. Let's see if. Oh, that goes way down. Way undo. I just want slight hills. I, you know, cemeteries aren't always flat, especially if they're old like this. Well, that looks good. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let's move some of these. So I'm gonna spread this out a little. There, I'm gonna take that 
you know what, let's line these up so it looks official. There's a good spot. Uh, in the sky. Turn, turn, turn. There. Okay, that looks more more cemetery like. Let's make another one of these. And that's about another body away. Is it a good spot? I think. Okay. Volcano flowers. Uh, what? Shaggy luscious. Ha. Huh. Okay. Oh, I like this one. Hedge of blue flowers. Because sometimes people feel blue at the cemetery. There. Sun rose. That's cheery. Uh, I think we'll do more of these. Uh, oh, I guess I can't put it in front of the gate, right, because people have to walk there. Okay, uh, maybe, there we go. Let's put in some more um, terrain types. Is there, there's the pavers. And salted earth, eh? Yeah. Cobbles. I kind of like the cobblestone with the moss there. That's a regular stone pathway. Uh, what's it good for a cemetery? It's around. But there. No, nope, in the middle. Okay. Uh, let's do some so people can walk a little bit. There, that looks good. Okay, this way. Oh. Start there. On a statue, I bet people walk there a lot. Uh, and over here, in kind of the place for contemplation, let's do. There we go. And. These will kind of blend together if I do it right. Here's another, the path goes here. And let's put some cobbles. I think. It's, oh, sorry, not cobbles, we, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, field of flowers and desert blooms, toe ticklers, field of flowers. There we go, a few wildflowers in the grass. Showing life goes on. A little bit in the back.
Just have them kind of blend in a path. And then some lighter flowers here and there. It's almost like an Irish moss. And I don't think we need any more rocks. Uh, let's get a tree maybe. Not a vampire tree. What would be nice? That's too... Weeping cherry. That I think that would be a good one to soften this up a little. Let's put it right on the outside. Uh, there, that is pretty. I think that that is good. I like it. Okay, we have all this other space. I was going to make kind of an area of uh, community and tranquility. Garbo Gushibaba. Let's change the traits. I'm going to keep it named Tranquil Crescent, I think. Uh, let's see, museum. National Park or Park. Not a nightclub. I think pretty much those are our choices, national park or park. So, um, we don't really have a playground, so that's why I picked national park. Okay, traits. Let's see. Yeah, it's not really an exercise park. Uh, oh, convivial, yes. Uh, Let's go with homie and okay, natural light because it seems like a sort of serene spot. I think that's good, and I think tranquil, tranquil crescent is a good enough name. So let's uh, let's save. I like it. I like it a lot. I think that's good. I think that it came out good. Uh, I may I might change around some things before we get back to that place. I, I I need to find a solution to the wedding area that doesn't involve just sticking a wall there. Uh, next time we will come back and see if we can have uh, Sim Loki do some uh, very Nancy land grab and uh, check out the new Tranquil Crescent Park, see how he likes it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for the show. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye, humans. Next time on Cat vs. Sims. Meditative. Oh, that is pretty. Look at the fall. Look at those fall leaves. I wonder if you can make a leaf pile to play in. Okay, this is a community garden. We didn't do anything there yet. Oh, there's bees. I forgot about the bees.
Garbo Gushibaba.